it's Sherry and Gemma and we just wanted to show you how to use our Tupperware can opener it's a little bit different than a conventional can opener so there's a little bit of a learning curve when you get it and no it's not broken because it's curved so you can see it has two different colors to use it first we open the legs right and Joan you want to put it on we're gonna put it right on the rim of the can uh-huh right there so you just set it on there and then you're gonna close the, the leg Oh, do you get on tight? Nope, he can't pick it up, it's not on tight. There, see he can pick it up and then just twist. Made for right or left-handed people, so easy peasy either way, right? Does it feel like it's cutting, Jonah? Mm. No, that's what people always tell us at parties. This isn't cutting, I don't think it's working. Well, they're right, it's not cutting, but it is working, right, Jonah? Because what's it doing? Once you feel, I felt like when you were you turning like it, it feels tight. But when you feel the click and it feels lighter, it's done. Then open the legs and then see the little teeth right here? We're gonna line that right up on the edge of the can. So was that can cutting? Was that was this can opener cutting the can? Go ahead and pull it off. Nope, it was doing what? Separating the glue from the seal. It separated the seal from the can. Look at that. So it's not sharp. This isn't sharp. And now, then this didn't drop into our food, right? I can just take this straight over the cash, trash can and open the legs and it'll drop in like that, right? So it didn't fall in our food because, you know, these are stored in warehouses and critters run across them, right? Gross, because now that just dropped into our food. And your traditional can opener that does cut the metal, you know, we never wash those. It's like the dirtiest one inch of your kitchen. It's kind of gross, isn't it? Not this one, because we didn't cut, did we? No sharp mm -hmm. edges. Pretty awesome. So simple to use, but takes just a little bit of practice. Thanks, y'all.